Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about K-map for four binary variables. K-map for four binary variables is used for minimization of Boolean functions of four binary variables. We know that four binary variables can form six, 16 main terms. So the K-map for four variables has 16 squares, one for each main term. Now it is a K map for four binary variables W, X, Y, and Z. Now in this map, columns are labeled by YZ and rows are labeled by WX. Now the these are the binary numbers which represents the value of binary variables are written in reflected code sequence right in reflected code sequence next number is uh, obtained only by changing one bit of the number now here uh, this number one zero is obtained by changing uh, this bit only one bit of the previous number right and this only one bit is changed either it is changed from 1 to 0 or from 0 to 1 right now what these numbers do they represent the value of binary variable each bit corresponds to each binary variable now this bit corresponds to binary variable y this bit corresponds to binary variable z this bit corresponds to binary variable w this bit corresponds to binary variable x if the bit is 0 then the variable is in its complement form if this bit is 1 then the variable is in its normal form here 0 1 represents y not z now the mid term which is represented by the square is obtained by concatenating the label of row with the label of column now look at this square it represents the mid term w not x y not z not it is obtained by concatenating the label of its row that is w not x and label of its column y not z not one more thing here it is assumed that this row this top row is adjacent to this row right that is bottom row and this column that is the leftmost column is adjacent to the rightmost column right it means this square is adjacent to this this square is adjacent to this square this square is adjacent to this square this square is adjacent to this square and uh, this square is adjacent to this this square is adjacent to this square this square is adjacent to this square this square is adjacent to this square now suppose we have to minimize a boolean function of four binary variables w x y and z it is the sum of min terms m0 m2 m8 and m10 so first we will make a k map for four binary variables w x and y and z now we will mark the squares by one whose min terms are included in this function now this square represents the min term m0 
This square represents the momentum M2. This square represents the momentum M8 and this square represents the momentum M10. Now this square is adjacent to this square. This square is adjacent to this square also, right? Now this square is adjacent to this square. This square is adjacent to this square, right? Because in uh, four variable math, we assume that this line, right, is touching this line. It means this row is adjacent to this row and we also assume that this line touches this line that is this column is adjacent to this column it means these four squares are adjacent to each other so they will form a group it means that these four squares will form a group of adjacent squares, four adjacent squares. Now what will happen? We have to look for the variables which are common in all squares of this group. Now x naught is common right in these four square x naught is common as well as z naught is also common in these four squares so what the term will be x naught z naught right so the function would be equal to x naught z naught right now suppose we have to minimize this boolean function which is uh, of four binary variables w x y z and it is the sum of main terms m0 m1 m4 m5 m6 m8 m9 M12, M13, and M14. Now, first of all, we will mark those squares whose main terms are included in the function. Now, this square corresponds to the main term M0, this to the main term M1. This to the momentum M2, this to the momentum M3, this to the momentum M4, this to the momentum M5, this to the momentum M6, this to the momentum M7, this to the momentum M8, this to the momentum M9. This to the momentum M10 and this square represents the momentum M11. This square represents the momentum M12. This corresponds to the momentum M13. This one corresponds to the M14. This corresponds to the momentum M15. Now mark those squares whose main terms are included in the function that is M0, M1, M4, M5, M6, M8, M9, M12, M13 and M14. Now make the group of squares and in each group the number of squares should be uh, like 1, 2, 4, 8, 16 right 
one group is this one which is of eight squares now we have to check which variable which variables are common in all these squares so in all these squares only one variable is common that is y naught right w and x or x complement or w complement are not common in the main terms of these eight squares right so here y naught will be included in the function f because y naught is the variable which is common in all the squares of this group now these two squares right this square is adjacent to this and this square is adjacent to this they also form a group of four adjacent squares right so it also forms a group of four adjacent square now we have to look for common variables the variables which are common in all squares of this group so here x is common x is, is common in all these uh, four squares and second one is z naught z naught is also common in all these squares so the term will be x z naught so this term x z naught will also be included in the function f so the function will become y naught plus x z naught thank you very much